Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering VMworld 2017. Brought to you by VMware and its ecosystem partners. Hi, I'm Stu Miniman and I'm here with John Troyer and you're watching theCUBE, SiliconANGLE Media's live production of VMworld 2017. We're in Las Vegas, happy to have back to the program Alistair Cook, who is the Chief Video Officer of vBrownBag. Al, great to see you, thanks so much. It is, of course, not only great to see you, but great to see vBrownBag here at VMworld, which was for, I think, what, 24 or 48 hours actually in question. It was probably the most stressful 48 hours of my life when it looked like we might not be uh, as welcome on the, uh, on the floor here at VMworld as we have been for the last five years prior. Yeah, you know, Pat Gelsinger last year said, I couldn't imagine, you know, VMworld without theCUBE. I think most of the community couldn't imagine, you know, the, the, the show without vBrownBag. So, I, I we don't need to hash through all of it. it. Luckily, everybody in IT knows that sometimes you get those stressful periods and you look back and say, we, we went through that the outcome, you know, worked. Um, the, the outcome is awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. for those who have not come across what we do, uh, vBrownBag is a community podcast. I mean, you guys have followed the rise. Um, John's been instrumental in part of the rise. We're a, a podcast that's about education for the practitioner of IT, the person working in data centers or designing solutions to go into data centers. Um, we focus on education, so we're a video podcast. Uh, I was looking at our stats, there's a couple of thousand videos sitting on our YouTube channel uh, that we've produced over the last six, seven years and the last six years at VMworld, we've had an open stage. We sort of sit a little bit in parallel to the rise of the cube at, at, at VMworld, the massive estate that you have here now. Uh, we also have grown over the years, not nearly as massive, but we, we have an open stage for those same IT practitioners, the hands-on engineering people, to come and share the things they've learned with the rest of the community. Yeah, and can you speak a little the, the breadth and depth of the offering that you'll do during this week here, and uh, the, the, I mean, one of the difference here, we get people, a lot of people to come take photos, they'll come watch for a few minutes. You guys have audience coming through the entire time, participating and the like. Well, th this year we have a, a big upswing in our audience because all of our, our sessions are listed in the schedule builder. So it's normal attendees at the show are seeing our, our content and saying, that's interesting, I want to hear about it. And that's always been previously our, our issue was discoverability. Nobody knew that there were these really awesome speakers who were presenting at VMworld. Now they're in the schedule builder and so we have a space for 50 people. We've had a few talks where pretty much every seat's been full and then the walkway past our stage has been filled with another 30 people wanting to, to see and, and to, to just consume the content that we produce. That's, uh, that's super nice. How, awesome. how, many, how many videos over the course of the week? We have 77 booked in for this this <laughs> week. <laughs> so I, we I are, think you'll, you'll have more than us then. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, so we, we're already at 16. Um, we do a much lower production standard than you do here on theCUBE, but we do a really high velocity. So as I walked away from my stage to come to yours, I'd already uploaded the previous presenter's videos up onto YouTube. So as I walked away, 16 presentations were complete, 16 videos were on YouTube. Um, my, my awesome crew are still manning the stage while I'm away, and while I've been here, I think we're, we're now onto the second video that's been produced as I've been uh, watching you guys talking with your previous guest. Yeah, yeah, I mean, come on, video's all instant. As long as the internet's solid, we get them up pretty fast too. Yeah. Oh yeah, but yeah. The, the key thing for, for us is that we do it with next to nothing. We do it on a shoestring compared to what, you know, your renting people bill here is probably larger than my equipment well, bill. Well that's, hey, that's the beautiful that's thing about tech, right? I started mm. filming stuff at VMworld years ago, right? And you just buy a consumer camera and just go, and you can stream, and you built it up from there. Uh, it's a prosumer sort of, you know, affordable tech that anybody can do. And even, you know, you use common web, um, uh, go to meeting and things like that on, on your weekly podcast, yes, right? This is super, absolutely. you don't need a lot of money to kind of reach a global audience. What are some, what are some of the kind of themes that you're, you're kind of seeing this, this year at VMworld in terms of the tech talks? So it's a little challenging to try and work out a theme out of the 77, kind of, because there isn't, too much coherence to, to what we get. We don't have streams or anything like that. I, uh, on the, the stage, we accept everything that comes in, and I, my acceptance criteria is chronology. The order in which you're, you submit your session is the, the priority in which it's scheduled, uh, rather than doing a lot of review. I've seen quite a bit of container stuff in there. There's a lot of interest in AWS and vSphere on AWS. Um, 
there's quite a lot of interest in free tools. So we've had two sessions today on free tools for vSphere administrators. So things that can get you going in your job without having to go asking cap in hand for money to buy a new tool. Which is uh, nice, right? Because these are so things that might not be in a session, official session at VMworld with 800 people in it, but free tools very relevant to the technical community. And that's the thing. We're, our audience is all about that engineer who's going to be hands on the keyboard building things. It quite possibly is still going to be racking and stacking hardware and configuring the, the products that have been bought that have been chosen by somebody further up the management chain. Yeah. Uh, Al, I know some of the more popular sessions are when you touch on certification type issues. Do those happen here or is that uh, you know different pieces and maybe speak a little bit to the broader charter of V Brown Bag. So the, the yeah. broader objective is that the, the virtualization community and the data center infrastructure community can teach one another. We all feel like we know a little tiny amount of this vast amount that everyone around us knows. The reality is that each of us has our own little island and if I share my island of knowledge with you and you share your island of knowledge with me, then we all learn more. And the internet and the use of podcasts and the rise of iTunes has given us the ability to do that at massive scale. We only need a very small number of people who are prepared to share their circle of knowledge to be able to educate a vast number of people. But what I also think is interesting, right, you started with VMware certs, right? We that did. was the, a brown bag to learn study for our certifications together. And now, the over the years, right, it's broadened to OpenStack, it's broadened to AWS, containers, I mean, can you talk about some of the, all sure. the different topics that you're, you're dealing with? So, we absolutely cover, as far as I'm aware, every released VMware certification we've got some content for, and have done since ESX3, right, those kinds of days. And that's that, how long the podcast's been running. We've always been helping community members to study for their VMware certifications. And then we found that VMware didn't release certifications as fast as we could produce training for them. And so we started looking broader and started looking at, well, you, you work in virtualization, you need to know storage, you need to know networking. And so we started covering some elements in those. And then, well, there's certifications in these things. And that's good for career advancement for the engineer. And so we started covering some of the Cisco certifications. Um, and we did have the foray into OpenStack because Cody Bunch, the guy who started the, the podcast, who I refer to as the, the podfather, uh, his work took him from building a, a product based on vSphere uh, for a large hosting provider to a product based on OpenStack. And so he was very much in, uh, keen on OpenStack. And uh, unfortunately, our audience weren't so keen. So the, the OpenStack series went for a little while and didn't get a huge traction. But we did started doing AWS last year. We, we covered the Solution Architect Associate uh, certification early last year. Huge interest from the community. Okay. Okay. Really popular content. And other popular certification content is the NSX. Uh, one of the, the top videos for a long time uh, was Frank Bichel doing an introduction to VMware's NSX as we're covering the VCP uh, NV certification. That's really interesting. What kind of people attend a, a V Brown bag? Uh, what are the characteristics, right? Obviously there are people who, some of them are cert driven, they want to they expand their horizons, they want to advance their careers. I mean, any yeah. comments on that? So a lot of our, the, the, I see a split between those of us who produce the content who are very much forward looking and are getting excited about the next thing and so now we're doing Kubernetes and we're just starting a series on APIs and every Christmas we do a thing called Commitmas where we cover source code management and Git uh, with Git commits. Uh, so we've got this whole heap of forward thinking telling the infrastructure people these are the skills you're going to need to be relevant in the future. If the cloud is eating your lunch in your data center, here's a whole set of skills that you're going to need in order to still be able to earn. What we see is there's a, there's a huge middle audience who are just starting virtualization. So crazy as it seems, there are customers who are just starting to virtualize now. And they're not all in Southeast Asia. Laggards. <laughs> but the, the, the people who are coming into the industry, also younger people coming into the industry who don't have 20 years of virtualization or 200 years of virtualization in their, their back pocket, are using the V Brown bags as a way of getting some education and getting education that they don't have to get a purchase order for. Right, uh, this is all free, right? Everything you do everything is free. Everything we do is free to consume. Yeah. Uh, it's one of our core principles, is er all the content we produce is free to consume. And we do produce, in a, a typical month, we'll produce six hours of video training content. <laughs> and stake that up over a few years. All right, so, so Al, we, we, we put, put your consultant hat on. Uh, All right. What so far, I mean, we're, we're only day one here, but you know, what's your take on what VMware's saying? Pat Elsinger gave you know, kind of his morning keynote, uh, you know, 
applause for you know Andy Jassy coming out. You know, <laughs> uh, we spent a lot of time talking about VMware and AWS, but you know, kind of across the board, what, what's your take so far? What, what are you liking? What aren't you liking? Well, I'm liking that the video production on the V Brown Bag stage has been really smooth <laughs> so far, and that I have an awesome team of volunteers there. Yeah. Um, to be honest, that's that's been the, the biggest thing because that's that's what I'm here for. Yeah. Uh, the keynote. To an engineer, the keynote is not hugely interesting because the keynote is a business-focused message. And I want to know when I am deploying a vSphere on AWS environment, what does it look like? So there's some quiet briefings going on uh, that you can book in for if you get the invitation to see how it's actually going to work. That's the stuff that is, would, if I was still doing regular day-to-day -day working for, for a company, that's the stuff I'd be wanting to get while I was here at VMworld. Uh, the, yes, we've got Andy Jassy here. Well, that's great. There's a serious commitment from AWS to the conference. Uh, pivoting back a little bit to, I mean, new technology, right? Video, has, video is really democratizing at some level, like uh, the, the, the affordability of the equipment mm. and the, the ability to do from anywhere. Uh, v Brown Bag, to support itself, uh, you know, does have sponsors. You have some sponsors here. So there's the, the free, the, the webinar is all free and mostly, mostly very educational. Uh, you're here on site, you do, you do also do several tech events uh, during, throughout the year, all around the world, and you've actually started a, a new exercise where you, you go and you work with a vendor or something, but as a technologist, and you stream, basically you, you, you it's build day, where you, you build something with your hands, some system, some rack of, of, of something, and stream the whole thing live. Can you talk a, a little, I think again, fascinating from a, like a, a mm. production and, and technology point of view, but can you talk a, a little bit about, again, what you're trying to bring as, an, as a trainer and an educator uh, and a community member with, this, with that kind of a, an offering? Sure, so v Brown Bag's content is all free to consume, but it's not free to produce. And so we have wonderful sponsors uh, that help us to be here, make sure that I can bring crew of people here to, to VMworld and make those 77 videos. And I haven't done the count of how many we're doing in Barcelona, but I'm doing a, an outrageous number of miles in, in a, a month because I'm going home to New Zealand in between the two VMworlds. I've got to pick up my wife and take her to Barcelona. Uh, so awesome sponsors for that, and we, we go to other events. We've been, uh, this is I think the second event in Vegas where we've been making tech talks this year. But returning to John, you were talking about the wonderful new thing we started doing this year of the V Brown Bag build days. And the objective is really to show day one experience of implementing a piece of technology. And it's the engineer's day one experience. So we, we're very used to seeing keynote demonstrations. I'm going to show you this wonderful new technology and it is an awesome piece of technology. It's just that A, you're not going to get it for two years time and B, when you do get it, it's going to be possibly very difficult to deploy or possibly really easy. A lot of vendors say our technology is really e easy. Uh, and so we put them to the test on that. So we, we work with a vendor, um, they bring us in to, usually to their site, the, f the two that we've done, we go to their site. I bring in a customer's vSphere environment. So I have a Pelican case full of servers and we turn up with that. And then on top of that vSphere environment, we deploy whatever the, the technology is, be it a hyper-converged platform, a storage platform, management platform, and we live stream that process. So the requirement for them is we need to start with, as it arrives to the customer from the factory, and we need to go through the actual deployment process. We need to hit the fish hooks that real customers are going to hit. Because I've been the engineer who turns up on site thinking he's going to deploy product A when the salesman said he was going to be deploying product A, and in fact he's pr deploying product Cucumber. Uh, and that's what he's got to go and push out. And, and that terror of I've got to not make this go wrong, I've got to look good deploying this and give my customer a good experience when I've not really had any pre preparation. Now it wouldn't help me if it was the day that I arrived, but often it's a new piece of technology. The first time we deploy it, we we're rather concerned and we don't believe what's in the marketing. We don't necessarily believe that the steps in the installation guide are correct. So V Brown Bag's objective is to go through that process and take an educational approach to showing you how that first, first day goes. And as you mentioned, John, my background is as a trainer. I taught VMware's um, public schedule training courses for years. And so I very much like to go through this process of training. And you can see that reflected out in what we do with the Brown Bag. It's all about education. That's part of what attracted me. Yeah. Uh, Al, last question I have for you is, 
V Brown Bag has been doing this for many years. Any any you know major shifts, changes, uh, you know. Uh, of course, the the scope is you know broadened quite a bit. You talked about things like NSX and mm. everything like that. A anything else in kind of the community in educating what people look for, uh, for from your organization that you could share? So there's sort of different angles on that. We definitely have seen that move from being I really need to get my VCP or my, my VCAP certifications, and then my career will be complete. Yeah. Which of course we know is a little naive. <laughs> uh, we've seen a diversification that the additional skills required. The other thing that we're seeing is that although VMworld is home base for this community, it's not the only place this community is. And so as I go to other conferences, I'm often uh, surprised by the proportion of the people there that are actually my friends from the virtualization, you know, the VMware community are at, at other things. And I suspect if I was to go to AWS reInvent, I would find a fair few of my friends there. Yeah, absolutely, uh, lots of them, especially I'd say last year was where I saw a significant uptick. Uh, are we going to see it uh, reinvent this year? I've not had any, uh, any interest from AWS to bring me there and I can't afford to come out to these, these conferences on my own dime until I sell a few more build days. Well hey, I really appreciate you, everything that V Brown Bag's been doing here at the community. Always a pleasure to catch up with you here on theCUBE. We always look, love to support uh, the community and many of those organizations. We will be at AWS reInvent. Uh, you know, definitely lots of need for education there, lots of growth in, the, in, in what's happening there and here. So for John Troyer, I'm Stu Miniman. We'll be back with lots more coverage here at VMworld 2017. You're watching theCUBE.